Herb runs are an essential part of the game. Not only is it literally essential if you're an Iron Man player, but it can also be a great source of passive money making for your main account. The money you get from herb runs scales with your farming level slash account status, as there's different things you can do to make herb runs more profitable. Before you start doing herb runs, you're going to want to get a few things, and absolute essential is to get magic secateurs. This is a farming item acquired during the Fairy Tale Part 1 quest and gives you an additional 10% yield for farming herbs while wielding it. Additional upgrades you can unlock are things such as Addis Plants, which are acquired from Killing Hespori, which is a plantable farming boss you can kill around once a day. Farming Hispori is a great habit to get into if you're low or even mid-level account because it's great passive farming XP and you get chance at getting special seeds. Ultra Composts are also pretty much a must-have as they increase the minimum and maximum yield from herbs and greatly reduce the chance at your herbs becoming diseased and dying. If you're 99 farming already and just do herb runs for the money, you can also take your cape with you because that gives increased yield. Those were all the things that can increase the yield of your herb runs, now I'm going to talk about some things that either unlock more patches or make the patches easier to get to. I recommend doing any quest that unlock a patch as it's such a good thing to have. The Ghost Ahoy quest, while not unlocking an entire patch, it will provide you with an ectophile which is an infinite teleport near the herb patch in Mortania. My Arms Big Adventure quest will unlock the herb patch in the Troll Stronghold. Making Friends with My Arm. A hard quest, but not only does it give you another herb patch in Weiss, it allows you to use two items, the Stony Basalt and Icy Basalt, which teleport you directly to the Weiss herb patch and the previous mentioned Stronghold herb patch. The Medium Diaries for both Lumbridge and Ardoin are extremely helpful, as both reward pieces you get, being the Cape and Ring, have teleports that almost put you directly next to an herb patch. This one is definitely for higher level accounts, and that's going to be the Elite Mauritania Diary. This unlocks the herb patch on Harmony Island, which I get to using the Harmony Island tablet from the GE. And lastly, 60% Hosidia's Favor will allow you to access the herb patch inside of the farming guild itself inside the Great Karen. One last thing I want to mention is that on the OSRS wiki, there is a calculator I'm going to link in the description for farming herbs, where you can enter in your farming level and all the patches you have, and it will tell you the best seed that your level that you can plant, and I estimate it around how much profit you will get per run. With my account and having 99 farming, all the patches in the game, ultra compost and everything, it looks like I can plant 9 renars and get around 252k GP per run, but that's just average, you could either get a little less or way more. Instead of going for money, you could also always go for XP. It looks like if I did Torstal, and if I was in 99 and I actually cared about XP, I would get around 20k XP per run while also still making profit. So I start my herb runs by usually going to any bank. I usually go to the GE though so I can buy seeds. I start by equipping Graceful, not the cape though because I use the farming cape. I get out my Ardoin Cloak and Explorer's Ring. Harmony Island Teleport because I have the Elite Diary done for Mauritania. Dibber, Rake, and Spade. Second Tours. Magic. If you don't have these, don't do herb runs. Bottomless Compost Bucket, otherwise use Ultra Composts or Super Composts if you can't get Ultras. Ectophile. An Icy and Stony Basalt. And my Rune Pouch. I'm going to equip everything I just got, except my Erdogan Cloak because I have a Farming Cloak, and now we just need Seeds. The best Seeds for me are Renars, because I am 99 farming already, and I don't care for XP, I just want the most amount of money. I'm going to go to the GE. Not, I have 9 Herb Patches, which is the most you can get, so I'm going to buy 9 Renar Seeds. I have 9 Renar Seeds. Just do a little quick organization of the inventory and we can start our herb run. So I don't really have a preference on how I start my herb run. I don't really have a specific order. I mean, maybe just going to the farming guild to see if I have my Addis planted, but otherwise I start at the GE and I usually go to Weiss first and get my usables out of my inventory. I'm not sure if you know this, but if you spam click the herb until you harvest twice and then stop, I believe that is the fastest harvest rate you can get because it bugs out and you start harvesting two at a time. 
some people just spam click and they don't know you can do this or some people don't even know you can spam click at all so there you go once you harvest the plant I clean the grimy herbs if you have the herb lore then I use them on the leprechaun make sure you composted the patch and then go on to the next destination. I'm gonna go to the troll stronghold next using the rocky basalts, or the stony basalt, so I can get that out of my inventory. Spam click until you get two, and then stop. Harmony Island next, and that is our last, I believe, consumable teleport that gets used. If this guide's helping you at all, please remember to like and subscribe. Now I'm going to use the Ecto file to go to the Mauritania herb patch. This one's, I think this is the biggest run that we have besides Catherby. After this one, I'm going to teleport to my outside of my house. You can do that by right clicking the either the tab or the spell and go to outside. My house is set in Karen slash Hosidius because the herb patch is directly north of it. So we only have four seeds left and that will be our Arduin cloak, our ring... Catherby one we're about to get and then the farming guild and that's pretty much it by the way it looks right now and yep this one is not dead this is going to be a pretty profitable one probably above average and if I have to guess I'm probably going to get 300 or so k from this but that's just a complete guess and yeah this will be the last patch we get and then I believe it is around an hour and 10 minutes, an hour before they all regrow again. I don't just sit there and farm them every hour. I usually do it after a boss task or I'm bored or something like that. But I usually do three a day to make 1 million GP. And there we go. The herb run is done. Let's go to the GE and see how much money we made. So we spent 517k on the seeds and we made 759k and that took about I would say 5 or 6 minutes so that is free GP that you are not getting if you are not doing this and if you are an Iron Man you have to do. And there we go. It was a pretty simple quick video today. But that's because I think herb runs are a really important part of the game, and not enough people are doing them. I know a lot of my viewers are newer players to the game, or new members, so they don't really know what to do yet, and herb runs are just too important to pass up. Sometime later this week, or next week, I will have more videos of course. I'm gonna start uploading every single week now regardless. Thank you so much for all the support and watching me. Like and subscribe. We're going for 1000 subs and we're so close, so if this video helped you at all, please sub. Bye.